All right, today in this project, I'm going to show you how to reuse an old computer power supply for a 12 volt source to power, you know, CVs, ham radios, or whatever you have 12 volt DC. Uh, it's pretty simple. You got a large the large pin set, and that's where your uh, power switch is going to be. That's where your two wires, that the only two wires that you're going to have to worry about clipping uh, to be able to get your 12 volt use out of this. These other sets of wires is where you're going to get your 12 volts. Uh, actually it's the longest set. And uh, it's the yellow, I found the yellow and black wires where I got my 12 volts from in this one. It's probably the same in most of them. These are pretty standard. Uh, other than maybe Macintosh or Apple or something. Anyway, you've got on the large pin set, you've got one green wire on this whole pin set. And right next to it is a black wire. There's a couple there, but I just use the one right next to it. You just clip those and that's the two wires you need right here. I also salvaged this switch out of the computer to, you know, to show you the, how to how to use it. The problem is it's just a momentary switch, which means I have to hold it in. Uh, but for the purposes of showing you this, it will work. Also, there's a couple LEDs, and I went ahead and wired a leg off of each of them into the leg of the switch, also onto each one of these. <clears throat> Uh, that's it. Other than that, you just clip your end, your pin set off of your uh, yellow and black wire here. That's where your 12 volt comes out of. So we're going to turn, plug it in here. Turn my voltage meter on. And on the yellow and black, I'll connect my leads. I'll just hang these here out of the way. And I'm going to hold the switch in. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the little power light's on there. And also on the switch is one of the LEDs lit. So we're going to hold the button in, and there's our 12 volts. It's that simple. There's just two wires you clip to put a switch on. You could actually jump those two wires together and just plug it in and, pl and unplug it to turn the power on and off. It's that simple. So, and then all I'm, I'm going to do is I'll unplug it for now so that my leads don't touch. Also, this thing has capacitors in it, so even once you unplug it, there's still a little uh, power left in them capacitors until it's drained off. So I'll just, that LED, it don't take much power to power those either, so. Uh, until eventually, there it goes. Now all the power is drained out of those. So we'll unhook these. And something I'm, you know, just bundle all these wires up here in a nice little bundle on the back. And just put some tape across it. I'm probably going to, once I get another switch, I'm just going to mount the switch to the front right here and have me a neat little power supply for backup use or for permanent use on I wouldn't maybe use it on my best radios but if I had a little radio sitting around and needed a little power it would be perfect 
So uh, I'll post some links below on some other equipment you can use along with these to filter noise and such if you have any problems with that. Uh, for the most part, you probably won't. There's, it just depends on your radios, I think. Maybe in the, the HF radios, you probably you might have a little more noise. But instead of throwing stuff away, reuse it. Okay. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and hook up these two radios to the power supply. It's a first off, it's an Elenco DR605 dual band, two meter, 70 centimeter radio. Then we got the OCB, and these are the wires. It's kind of a mess, but they're all hooked together like they should be and we're going to power it up alright you can see they're both on already I already had the power on to them power's on power's off power supply alright with it on Go ahead and key that one. This one's messed up. Oh, I knocked the wire loose. Okay. My mic's messed up on the dual band, so I can't really talk on it, but I can. It will key. It's my two meter over there is picking it up. Feedback through it. That wasn't feedback from the trans from the power supply. That was my other radio right there. Because they were both sitting on the same station, same frequency. But I uh, just wanted to show you it powering a couple items at once. So there we go. Thanks for watching.